Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Sword Driver Hisatsu Holder and Jakun to Domamanoke Wonder Ride Book from Kamen Rider Saber. So basically what this is, is it is a holder that clips onto the belt that can hold two Wonder Ride Books. And then you get a second piece that can clip onto the other side of the belt so that he can wear the sword like at his side. Kind of like a more traditional knight like usually has the sword on their belt. Uh, instead of having it clipped into the driver, you could wear it on the side. I don't really know why he needs this, I'll be honest. Uh, the fact that it can clip into the driver makes it seem like this is unnecessary. I don't know. We'll see if he uses it. Maybe it's a situation where like, if he's putting it into the driver and he's not transforming or using it for an attack, it would make him power down. So that's why they give him this. I don't know. I'm just making, trying to make something up here, trying to figure out why he needs this. <laughs> I understand with this thing, they usually give us some kind of belt clip that can hold some of the gimmick and it's a way to push another gimmick on us. Like that's been going on for years, but I just don't understand why we need this. But here's the packaging. looks pretty cool. I like how the art kind of wraps around to the side. I think that's kind of neat. And then you have, again, a picture of the three items here. Um, and then over here you have him using the Jakun Todomamanoke. I'm, it's Jack and the Beanstalk. I'm surprised I pronounced it, if I've even pronounced it correctly. I When I first started shooting this video, it, it took me several takes to just even be able to say it. So I've got through it a couple times now. I'm going to pat myself on the back and just start calling it Jack and the Beanstalk. But um, I like how this works. You know, basically he's got three sections to his costume. And depending on what book, it changes that section. So there's all kinds of suit possibilities, combinations, and everything here, which I think is kind of fun. So this is kind of the first combination we've seen in the show where he's got Brave Dragon and then Jack and the Beanstalk have kind of a cool uh, red, white, and green thing going on here. It kind of works. So pretty cool artwork there on the side. Not too much going on on the bottom. You do, of course, have watch batteries included for the Wonder Ride book. Neither of these require batteries, so no worries there. And then, of course, it just again shows the holder and the sword piece holder. Um... Just shows you using the book with the driver, and then of course it shows you having two uh, books stored here on the side. It looks like we've got Peter Fantasista, and it's really hard to see. I think that's the Hedgehog one, Needle Hedgehog. I forget what that one's called specifically, but that's the other one that they show here. So does it? It looks like you can put another book in there. We'll have to try that out. I don't know if that's supposed to hold a book and the sword or a book instead of the sword. We'll see how that works. But in either case, interesting. Let's go ahead. Let's get everything out of the box here and we'll take a closer look. All right. So here are the three things you get in the box. Obviously, you have the Jakun to Domamanoke uh, Wonder Ride book, as you can see here. Big spot for the speaker on the back. That's where you replace the batteries if you ever need to. Pulled the tab out already. Here is the chip for the reader. Uh, looks pretty cool. I like it. I like the cover a lot. Uh, you have Jack climbing the beanstalk. And I will freely admit that I just now realized they have a spot on the front of the cover that tells you which slot this is supposed to go into. I had never noticed that before, so I 100% apologize. <laughs> I feel kind of dumb, but it's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, if we go ahead and open this up, can see the QR code. Then if we close this up, press the button underneath, opens up. Pretty cool. So I don't know, man, I'm really enjoying these. Honestly, the more I play with them, the more stupid fun I think they are, and I'm I'm really kind of coming to love them. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. They're really fun. Uh, so taking a look at these two pieces, uh, this is the book holder. As you can see, nice black plastic, have kind of a cool shiny metallic -y red over here, which I think works. A little bit of silver paint. Uh, this is very simple. Slide it in. There you go. It's holding two books. Simple. Easy peasy. Works well. I like it. Clips onto the belt like so. There's nothing uh, sneaky to it. You just literally, you could even just clip it onto like any kind of pants or whatever you want, really. Anything, it doesn't even have to be the belt. I like when they do this because 
when it's closed on the bottom, you have to thread the belt through it, and I find that kind of annoying. This you could literally just slide on and clip to anything that'll fit in there, so that's cool. So putting this one off to the side, we have the sword holder. Now the cool thing about this is, again, earlier in the video, I was like, why do we need this? But after I got it open and I looked at the directions, this actually gives a new attack. When you slide the sword in here, it triggers a new attack. It's almost like doubles uh, maximum drive slot. At least that's what it kind of reminds me of. So that's kind of neat. When he's not using it, you can slide a book in there. So it can store a book. Now you can't use the sword when the book is in there. It's not wide enough to do that. So it's kind of an either or thing. But if you're not using it and you really have no interest in using the sword holder aspect, you can hold another book in there. So that's kind of neat. But yeah, you can slide the sword in here. Of course, we'll check that out in a moment. Uh, and it does give another attack, so that's kind of cool. Otherwise, you got some silver paint, exact same black and metallic -y red type plastic as the other piece. So obviously these two are very similar to each other, but I think that's kind of neat. So um, I like the holders. I think the fact that this actually gives a new sword attack is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the sword driver, and we'll check all this stuff out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and transform first, and we'll check out the uh, new attack we get with the sword. I love how the swords have different names. I think that's kind of fun. It makes them almost like characters on the show. All right, so we are going to bring in the holder and you just go ahead, slot it right in. And you can hear it makes that same sound like when you put it in the driver, but you just hit the trigger. So there you go. That is the new sound effect. It is different from the attack you get by putting it back into the sword driver. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, one thing we can do, however, I really like this standby music. Oh, it turned off. So there you go. That is the new attack sound that we get with the Hisatsu holder. I think that's pretty cool that they actually have it give you a new attack sound instead of just being just another holder for it to sit in. So I do appreciate that. So we do have our Jack and the Beanstalk book. So we'll go ahead and try this out.
And just for fun, we'll do all three. Alright, so I've switched back over to Saber Sword. And again, just for fun. thing we can take a look at if we just go ahead and use this on the sword itself Thank you. 
So there you go, there are the three attack sounds just using it with the sword. I think this is a pretty fun set. It's definitely better than I originally thought it was going to be. I had no idea that the Hisatsu holder was going to actually give an additional attack sound to the sword driver. I think that's really neat. Like I said, definitely reminds me of the maximum drive slot for double. Um, and that just gives more playability to it than I originally thought it was going to have. I really thought it was just going to be, he can wear the sword on the side if he wants to. And I was like, well, why would he do that if he can already wear it in his driver? But this makes sense. It's a quick plug-in, activate a new attack, and you're good to go. I also think it's neat that it can hold a Wonder Ride book over there if you don't want to use it uh, to hold the sword. It can't do both at the same time, which is a shame, but you can actually hold an additional book over there. And then this one just holds two books, but it looks pretty neat. I like it. I'm not opposed to these gimmick holders uh, because it's usually just a way to get another uh, DX gimmick item. So the Jack and the Beanstalk book is very cool. Love the color scheme. Uh, all the stickers inside, the sound effects, everything with it. Very, very cool. So I think this set's worth picking up. If you want to wait for a sale or something, maybe that's a possibility. But um, I don't think there's anything to be disappointed with here. Yes, the holders don't do a ton, but I feel like they do more than they usually do. Um... It also kind of reminds me of, and I can't believe I didn't think about this earlier, um, the one for X-Aid, because obviously that was, you know, they used to put it in there to change the stage, and then also to use it as a final attack, but it also held some gashettes on the side, so very much what that reminds me of as well. So definitely more playability than I thought it was going to have. I think it's worth picking up. You get a lot of nice stuff here. Um, if you really just want the Jack in the Box, I believe that's going to be in uh then i think it's it's either in it's in one of the gash or candy toy waves coming up i can't remember which but if you're just looking for this and you don't care about it being deluxe or not uh you can go ahead and get it in one of the gash or candy toy waves but in my opinion if you can get a dx version of a book i would recommend it because i feel that they're, they're vastly superior to the candy toy gash just because they have sound and the other ones do not but uh, yeah, like I said, I don't I don't mind adding these holders to my collection. I think that they're cool. Again, not amazing, but they do more than I thought, and I don't mind having them, especially if it gets me that DX Wonder Ride book. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.